Carlo Maria Viganò, former nuncio to the United States, has published his second letter in English, marked with his Episcopal coat of arms. The text reiterates his accusations against the Pope and asks Catholics not to be despondent during this period of repentance and conversion. He says if the Vatican does not provide documentation to support a denial, it's because they know it confirms his testimony, although neither has he provided any documents that prove his allegations are true. The underlying idea of this letter and the previous one by Vigono is that Pope Francis has supposedly lifted the sanctions that Benedict XVI imposed on former Cardinal McCarrick, who abused priests and seminarians. However, Benedict did not impose public sanctions, but made a private request to the Cardinal not to travel or participate in public meetings, a request he did not obey. As there was no public sanction, Pope Francis could not withdraw it. In addition, Francis did not entrust official missions to McCarrick and expelled him from the group of cardinals last July. Former Nuncio Vigono does not explain why during his years in Washington as papal representative, he did not force McCarrick to practice the restrictions by Benedict XVI. In the letter, he's also accused the Pope of having covered up for a deceased cardinal and two abusive priests. He also says that the current cardinal in charge of appointing bishops is being bypassed by two homosexual friends of the dicastery. It is an intense letter riddled with insults and accusations against the Pope, yet giving advice to the rest of Catholics. Currently, the Holy See is preparing a response with explanations, which will be published soon. Perhaps it will be when the waters calm down and everyone is able to think more clearly.